Alright, welcome back. This is the point we've left it at at the moment. We've got the arms all in place and sized up and the body together. Um, this tutorial will make the last foot and then finally we'll mount it onto the body. Um, there is one thing I should point out about this. You can either have your body straight up and down or you can have it angled out. You can't really do both unless you're very good with Expresso and know how to set a conditional thing on it so when it rotates the bottom leg will come down and move along the ground rather than just end up flicking way up in the air. Um, that's well beyond the scope of this tutorial and pretty much right at the edge of my abilities. It'll probably take me quite a while to work out how to do it and it will probably be the longest and complicated way to do so. Um, so I won't do that. I'm going to model mine with my body rotated out. I'll show you what I mean. I'll move the body into the dome. Um, that'll set our rotational point. Up here, if I turn the arrows on, you'll see what I mean. Um, so you'll be in his classic lean back pose, about 20 degrees. Looks about the best to me. Um, I'll set that back to zero. And so we're going to do this foot. Um, this foot's a bit smaller in height than the others. Um, if it was the same height, it wouldn't fit under his body with a mount. Um, and we've made the foot before, so it shouldn't be any great struggle. Um, we'll create a cube. We'll just turn off the visibility on these. So we can see what we're doing as we go. So objects primitive cube. Um, we want the Z size at 500 it was with 5 segments. Uh, we want the X size at 360 with 5 segments. And we'll leave the Y size at 200. Um, let's zoom in here and I'll refresh your memory as to what we're doing. We're making it editable of course and we'll hide the arrows to get them out of the way. And grab polygon mode, live select tool, and then select one, two, three, four, five, and delete those. We can actually build this one a bit different and a bit quicker. So we'll delete that row of polygons as well. And we'll create a new polygon um, structure. Great polygon, this one we'll put the angle in as we go, so from that point to that point, 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 and down to here. And we do the same again on the other side. Uh, get rid of that, 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 that. Delete there. Um, I actually think I've done this wrong as I've gone along. Um, that's all right. We'll see what happens in a minute. Did grab that inside point. Did. totally wrong. I have done it wrong as I've gone along. So up to there, 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 back down to there. So reverse your normals. And start there. So there we go, that's created that angled side. Uh, we need to take care of the front now. So we'll delete that polygon and that polygon. And this one on top as well. And those three there. Now we want to create another polygon, so... 
soon so we can see what we're doing. We'll start there, that corner to there, bring it down to here, across there, across there, and back up to there. Reverse your mauls. And you can see we're getting the shape already. Um, it's much easier when you don't have to worry about putting in that extra bit for the ledge and stuff over there. Um, so create another polygon there, and of course we're going to do the same around the back. So I'll pause the video there to save a bit of time. And you can do around the back by yourselves. Alright, so there we have that there. Um, we want to delete that middle row. to view from the front and put our cut across to get this middle polygon in. So camera front and we sort of cut it about where that red line is so grab your knife tool, structure, knife, line and straight across there. And then it's just a matter of creating our polygons. So there, 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 and there. Um, I'll leave the video here because I think I'm about out of time. Just create a polygon across there and the one to fill up that gap and the one to fill up that gap and the one across the back. Um, I'll see you when that's done on the next part where we go ahead and mount this and then it's on to the fun stuff.